and welcome back to another episode of our Bridgesimpton Challenge and we are here with the Marino family. This is Lorenzo, Isabella, and Scarlett Marino and we are going to be jumping in with them for this episode and seeing how they get on. They are one of our upper oh, class yeah. families and as you can see they are just celebrating New Year's Eve here. We are just letting them spend a little bit of quality time together. And they are going to celebrate together here for the holiday. And we're going to just spend a little bit of time getting to know these characters. As you can see, Lorenzo is going ahead and practicing a little bit of guitar. So hopefully he will go ahead and like that skill. So we hope that, you know, he can build a little bit of that. It looks like he is leveling up with that. And the ladies are just singing a little bit trying to celebrate this beautiful holiday together which is fantastic as we know scarlet is going to be trying to get her skills up so that she can enter into the marriage market so she is going to need to work on her skills and we would need to get her ready so that she can hopefully find someone respect respectable that she is going to be able to marry so we'll be seeing her working on her skills. We are also going to be getting her enrolled in high school because due to the fact that she is upper class, she is eligible for that. Oh, and it does look like he likes guitar. Okay, that is wonderful. We will let him go ahead and like playing guitar. That will be one of the skills that he will be able to build on, so that'll be fantastic. I do believe that the adults possibly do have careers outside of the home. I'm not sure if Isabella is signed up for the socialite career but if she is then she will be able to go and do that and I think that Lorenzo is also set up in a career outside of the home I think I want to say he's a paramour um, so we will see how that fares for him but we are going to be getting Scarlett working on like I said getting signed up for high school so she'll be working on her homework a little bit later she is going to need to work on some logic and some writing and i am going to work on some painting but she'll also need to work on charisma so there's a lot of skills that she's going to have to work on to get her ready for the marriage market but first i think i'm going to just have the family come in and kind of have a little bit of a conversation together obviously the parents want to make sure that they instill in her that it's very important that she works on her skills so that she can get herself ready and I think that Scarlett does take this pretty important she realizes the importance yeah, of this yeah, and so she is letting her parents know that they don't need to kind of harp on her about it and she's like I understand mother I understand and she's telling her dad she's like why does she always you know nag me about this and he's like she just wants to make sure honey that you understand that this is very important for her she wants you to find someone that you can settle down with and she's like but I understand all of this dad she's constantly going on and on about it and he's like I know we just want you to be happy and she's like well I'll be happy I will um even if I don't find someone right away I'm sure that I'll still be able to be happy so Scarlett is a little headstrong in the sense that you know she she has goals and dreams for herself and she doesn't necessarily think it's going to need she's going to need a man to make her happy she does want to find someone because she knows that's what her parents want, but she doesn't think it's the end all be all for her. But obviously that is definitely something that her parents want. We're going to go ahead and queue up for Isabella. Is that her name? Yes. Isabella to come on into the kitchen and just grab a bite to eat. And then we'll probably go ahead and get the other two to grab themselves a bite to eat as well. Everyone is starting to get a little bit hungry. So we'll just go ahead and grab them a little bit of a bite to eat here. And then they can work on a little bit of skill building individually and we'll make sure that everyone is good to go as far as working on some skills. It is about 3 o'clock p.m. and so the day is starting to get away from us. So I do think that they are probably going to want to get a little bit of skill building in and then obviously they'll want to turn in for the evening. We don't have our kitchen quite set up just yet so that Isabella can actually make full meals right now so I will do a little bit of tweaking of this house and get them set up to where they can actually cook in the kitchen and make full meals but right now we're just gonna go ahead and grab them a little quick serving and let them feed themselves um, here out of the kitchen so that'll be perfect so they'll each just grab themselves a single serving of food 
and we'll make sure that their hunger needs are filled. And then a little bit later, I will make sure that I fix the kitchen so that they can have some counters to cook on. And then Isabella will be able to go ahead and cook full meals for them to be able to take care of them. They currently do not have a butler in the house, but I will be getting them a butler because they are upper class. So they are eligible to have a butler in the home helping them kind of take care of things. So we'll be getting them a butler. And so you will be seeing later on them having a little bit of a butler here. So that is all going to be well and good for this family as they take care of themselves. And they are just currently taking care of um, their needs. And then is a, uh, I'm sorry, Scarlett is going to work here on her charisma. So we are just going to make sure she gets her charisma skill up. She does have to, I think, be like a level five of her charisma in order for her to be eligible for the marriage market. So we are just getting her working on a little bit of practicing her speech and getting her charisma up. And then once she is done with that, we will go ahead and get her enrolled in high school. And once she is enrolled in high school, we will probably purchase her a homework book so she can go ahead and get started on her, on her homework. So we will go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go ahead and get Isabella downstairs working on a little bit of knitting. And I think that Lorenzo is probably going to be working on some more musical skills. He really, really enjoys playing the musical instruments. And so I think that he is going to be doing a lot of that with the different musical instruments and learning a bunch of different musical skills so that'll be fantastic for him so i think that he is currently downstairs just practicing on the harp right now so we are just going to get isabella to do a little bit of cross stitching and that will work on her skill and like i said lorenzo is going to go on and play a little bit of the harp and he will work on some more musical skill so they are just getting some skill building amongst the whole family and then once it gets a little bit later we will go ahead and get them queued up for them to head themselves off to bed so they can get themselves a little bit of rest because it is starting to get a little bit late and then for tomorrow we will check in and make sure everyone's okay currently it is saturday in the game here and so i don't think that you know, Scarlett is going to have to go to school tomorrow because it is the weekend. All right, so she won't have school tomorrow because it is the weekend, but once it is a little bit later and she does have to go to school, we'll obviously be seeing her head off to school. But in the meantime, we are just going to have them working on their skill building and we absolutely love that for them. She is still up here just working really, really hard at her charisma and she's feeling really, really happy right now. She is loving the fact that she is in, you know, a nicely decorated home and she had a good meal. And honestly, she's feeling like she's really accomplished right now as she practices her speech. And I think that she's thinking to herself, I, you know, don't really understand why they're so caught up on me having to find someone to make my life a quote unquote a success. But, you know, she is feeling confident about the fact that she's making these skills and she's meeting these skills. And so, oh, it's made her flirty. Well, we love that for her. <laughs> um, but she is, you know, feeling really confident that she is leveling up in these skills and that she is doing it what, you know, would make her parents proud in order to be eligible for the marriage market. So I am going to go ahead and just enroll her in school right now. And then we're going to get her a homework book and let her go ahead and start working on her homework. And then she will be able to have that complete. That way she is ready for school when it is time for her to go on into school. So that'll be perfect for her. I don't want her falling behind in her studies and I would really like for her to do well in that. So we are just going to go ahead and get her ready for that. So we'll have her go on down. She's going to go and have a little bit of a chat with her mom while she does her work. Her mom is just down here, you know, finished. She's just finished up her cross stitching. And so she's just, you know, kind of watching Lorenzo play his harp and she's having a little bit of a chat with her daughter and she's asking how her charisma skill building went and she's like it went really well mom she's like you know 
it wasn't that difficult and I I think I really excelled at it I think I'm going to do really well and she's like oh that's wonderful Scarlett I'm so glad to hear that and she's like yes mother I know you are and so they're you know she's just watching Scarlett do her homework and she's like what do you think you're going to work on next and Scarlett's like I think maybe I might try my hand at some painting and she's like really and she's like yeah I, I think that maybe I should get a little bit of painting knowledge under my belt and Isabella's like, I think that's a wonderful idea, honey. So I am going to just go ahead and let Isabella go and take care of herself here. We're going to let Scarlett finish up with her homework. And then we're going to have Scarlett go on and start working on some painting skill. She's going to try her hand at a little bit of painting because obviously that is something that does need to be done as well for one of her skills for the marriage market. So she's just going to try her hand at that and see how she does and see if that's something that she likes. She is feeling like she really does need to go to the washroom. So I may have her stop doing this and just go ahead and go take care of her bladder needs. And then she can come back over here and finish up this painting here. But I am probably going to go ahead and have everyone grab another bite to eat and then get them situated off to bed because it is starting to get really, really late. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And I'll just let Scarlett finish up her painting here. And then once she's done with this painting, we'll have her grab a bite to eat and then she can head herself off to bed as well. So she's just really enjoying this time. She is feeling quite a bit of flirty. Um, I think that, you know, she's, <laughs> I'm not really sure why she's feeling flirty, but she is kind of feeling a little bit flirty from all of the um, skill building. It has made her feel a little flirty. So we are going to just go ahead and assign everyone their beds and get them all situated and into their beds for the evening here. And Scarlett is just going to finish up this painting and go grab herself a bite to eat from the kitchen. And then we'll put her in her bed as well for the evening. And we'll get her up off to, to get some rest because she is starting to feel really tired. All right, it does look like she is just about finished with that painting. I'm just going to set this bed as hers up here, and then we will send her off to go ahead and grab herself a bite to eat downstairs. All right, let's go ahead and do just that. It looks like their New Year's Eve was not that great. There wasn't, you know, they didn't really do everything they wanted to do. So, I mean, you know, sometimes that kind of happens. I am, you know, trying sometimes to get them to do what they can for their holidays, but sometimes they just can't meet all of the tasks that are there. So it does look like Isabella had a successful holiday, but Scarlett's was awful, and it looks like Lorenzo said that his, his was okay. So, I mean, it is what it is. So we are getting her to just have her meal here, and then I'm going to send her on off to bed, and we're going to let Scarlett get herself a little bit of rest. And then we're going to go ahead and enter on into our next day. It will be Sunday in the morning, as we know. And we will be seeing what we can get our Sims up to and how they're going to do. I do think that she's going to probably work on a little bit more painting. I think that she really enjoyed that skill. And so I do think that, she, you know, Scarlett's going to try to work on a little bit more of that. We may even get her to try to work on a little bit of her, you know, some musical skill because I do want her working on learning a little bit of the musical skill. So she may try to learn an instrument as well. I'm not sure yet which instrument she might try to learn, but we may have her do that. But for now, we're just going to send her off to bed. She is straight up shattered. She's had a long day of learning skills and she is feeling like she is in desperate need of some rest. So she's just gonna head herself on upstairs here and we're gonna let her get some much needed, you know, energy here. She has a really long way that she has to go to get to bed. Like, I think she's walked up four or five flights of stairs here just to get to her bedroom. Oh dear, she's having a problem with her bed. So let me go ahead and figure out what the problem is with her bed here and then we will get her into her bed to sleep here. All right, so go ahead and get yourself off to bed here, Scarlet, and I will see you all in the morning.
Okay, so Violet Bridgerton has had herself a little boy. We're going to name him Colin, and then she's had another little boy. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to name this second little baby Gregory. So let's go ahead and we are going to name them. We are just going to have to roll for the little ones and for mom. As you can see, mom can't roll a one. So we are going to go ahead and roll for Violet. She is going to need to roll twice. The first one is a seven. The second one is a 16. So mom does survive the childbirths. For the babies, they can't roll a four, a 12, or 16. So we are going to go ahead and roll for the babies. Colin is good and Gregory is also good. So we have had everyone survive and we are just going to go ahead and add Colin and Gregory here onto the timeline of when they were born and then we will continue on with the gameplay. So I'm just going to put here Colin Bridgerton and Gregory Bridgerton. They were born in 1838 and we will add them to the timeline and I will add them to their family tree as well. And then we will carry on and yeah, that will be perfect. They have had two more little ones, which is fantastic. And we are going to go ahead and jump back in to the Marino family or the Marinos. We are back in with the family here. And it does look like Isabella is up. She is in desperate need of going to the washroom and getting herself something to eat. So we are just going to go ahead and let her take care of a little bit of her needs here. And we are going to hopefully get her to the bathroom before she wheeze herself. And then I'm going to head her on downstairs and let her go and get herself a little bit of cooking in and let her get some things started for the family. So she's, I'm just going to put her, get her to cook something. I think she's going to grab herself maybe some yogurt or something like that. And she'll grab herself a little bit of a bite to eat here. And that will be perfect for her for getting herself fed. And then when Lorenzo and Scarlett get up, they will probably need to come down and grab themselves something to eat as well. It is Sunday. And so as we know, there is no school for Scarlett today. She is just going to be hanging out with her parents and continuing on with her skill building, which is going to be fantastic. We are just going to let them work on the things that they need to work on. And we are, as we know, going to need to be rolling soon for our random selection roll to find out what is going to be happening to this family. So we will be looking to find out if we're going to have good luck in that realm or if we're going to be having bad luck with that. Fingers crossed that we get some good luck and we don't have any disasters happen for this family. Lorenzo is up. He's just going to the washroom and then I'm going to have him come on down and grab himself a bite to eat as well. And we will take care of his hunger need. And then we will get Scarlet up and she can go ahead and take care of herself. She actually doesn't look like she's too hungry this morning. But she is desperate for some fun, so I may get her up and have her work a little bit on a little bit of fun gain and just see what it is that she kind of gets on with as far as in the fun department. I do want her to get her fun up a little bit. It looks like maybe she is a little bit tense from all of her skill building yesterday. There was a lot going on where she was trying to learn charisma and she was learning painting and then she did her homework and... It kind of just got her a little bit under under a little bit of pressure and so now she just needs a little bit of something to kind of relax herself so we will get scarlet up and we'll just let her work on something fun so that she can kind of get herself back to um, being in a good place isabella is just going ahead and cleaning up a little bit because as you know we currently don't have a butler yet we still have not hired a butler so i you know am thinking about this and thinking to myself, well, I really, you know, need to go ahead and get them a butler. So I am going to go ahead and get Lorenzo to call and hire a butler for the family and we will get them all squared away for that so that they do have a butler here in the family and we will go ahead and get her up and let her start working on some things. Maybe I can get her to practice a little bit of writing. Maybe she will like that or I don't know that, I mean, considering the fact that her fun is down Maybe she would like to play a game and that might help her a little bit. I'm just 
not really sure what she kind of likes to do for fun so we'll have to see what Scarlett is really into but she has gotten quite a bit of rest so I think maybe it is time that we go ahead and get her up and let her do something with her time other than sleep her life away here so I am just going to go ahead and get her up out of bed and let her start doing something fun. She has woken up in a really playful mood, which is good. So I think that will help her trying to do something fun and putting her in good spirits, which is going to be fantastic for her. Um, actually, it does look like she's starting to get a little bit hungry. So maybe we will get her down and let her get something to eat at some point as well. But first, I just want to get her fun up a little bit because she is in desperate need for that. So we're just going to have her go ahead and get her fun up a little bit. And then once that takes place, then we'll have her go on down to the kitchen and grab herself a little bit of a bite to eat here. It does look like she is currently just browsing some art. And that does seem to be helping with her fun a little bit, albeit slowly, it does seem to be helping. So that is really great. Um, maybe I can get her to play a game though and see if that might help a little bit faster. It does seem to be working a little faster actually. So that's fantastic news. So she's just playing a little bit of a game here and once her fun is up into the green, we will have her go on down and get herself a little bit of food. She is feeling really, really sad from having that awful New Year's holiday, which I hate for her because honestly, I mean, I wish that she had had a better holiday. I mean, her parents had a pretty good New Year's, but she unfortunately did not. Isabel is in the living room or the den probably, and she is just doing a little bit more cross stitching and working on that. She seems to be really enjoying her cross stitching hobby, which we absolutely love for her. And so, you know, that's keeping her quite busy. But I am just going to get Scarlett to go and grab herself a bite to eat. Oh, no, it's not. It's Lorenzo that has started cross-stitching. Okay. I guess he wanted to try something new. It, uh, it looks like Isabella is actually down here eating. Why don't you actually go ahead and get yourself into your daily outfit, and then you can clean up a little bit, Isabella. So we're just going to get her to go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning up here while Scarlett goes ahead and grabs herself a bite to eat. So as you can see, the family is just getting on pretty well. They are taking care of themselves here and taking care of things around the house, which is fantastic. Lorenzo is, you know, getting to know himself and the things that he likes and dislikes. He's, you know, kind of all over the map with music skills. And now he's decided to try cross stitching randomly which, I mean, I'm not going to complain. You do you, Lorenzo. You do you. Isabella, though, you know, she definitely does like cross-stitching. And I think that maybe I would like to get Scarlett to try cross-stitching. I think she would like that as well. But we'll just have to see. I mean, Lorenzo's feeling really confident after doing that cross-stitching, even though he did prick his finger. And so he did have to stop doing it kind of early. Yes, he is. He's a royal paramour. I thought he was a paramour. So he does have... Um, a job outside of the house and he is a royal paramour so we'll have to see how he kind of gets on with that job and what that entails and what happens when he goes to work and so he he definitely does go outside of of the home for j his job so he is currently off to work going and being a royal paramour so we'll have to see what kind of comes of that that being said Isabella is just getting some logic in and I am going to go ahead and get Scarlett to sell this painting here that she had painted last night and then maybe we can get her to even do a little bit more painting today and we can get a little bit more painting skill for her which I think will be really great if we can get her painting skill up a little bit higher. She is really feeling playful. I. I actually love that so much. This house is massive. I mean, it takes her forever to get to where she needs to get to, but <laughs> I mean, I guess they wouldn't be complaining about that. I may need to turn off the road to fame because I don't know necessarily think that they should be really getting famous from selling these paintings, but we'll have to look into that. So she's going to go ahead and get herself a little bit more painting in. And then once she's done with that, we'll get her off to the washroom. Obviously, Isabella here is just doing a little bit of logic skill. And she is trying to 
you know, learn how to play chess, and she seems to be really enjoying it. She's feeling pretty inspired. Both of the ladies are feeling pretty inspired with their hobbies that they are currently tending to, which is great. I do think that Isabella is probably thinking about her daughter while she plays this game, and so, you know, she's probably half paying attention to, to playing chess because she's more really daydreaming about Isabella or Scarlet and what Scarlet is going to be able to do for her future, but... You know, that is what it is. Scarlet is a genius. Okay, we love that for Scarlet. Well, Scarlet, keep painting that painting and then we will have to get you off to the washroom because you are starting to really need to go and do that. So finish that up really quickly and then go and relieve your bladder issues. And then we will sell this painting as well and see how you get like how you fare for that. So that'll be fantastic. So she's going to go ahead and finish this up and then we will sell that and we are going to have her go ahead and go off to the washroom. She's just feeling fine. She's, you know, leveling up in her painting, which is wonderful. And it does look like Isabella has gone back and done a little bit, like has decided to do a little bit more cross stitching, which we love. So she has gone off to the washroom. Let's go ahead and get her in here. She's going to sell this painting and we will see how she fares for that. She has done pretty good. She got 146 simoleons for that. That's not bad at all. I am just going to have her come on down here and we are going to have her grab herself a bite to eat. And that's when I realized we really do need to get some counters down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that fixed up. All right, so we have fixed the kitchen and now I'm just going to get Isabella to come on down here and cook something for the family. That way she can go ahead and make a meal. I'm going to get Scarlett to go ahead and clean up a little bit. It does look like we have some laundry lying around so maybe they should probably get some laundry going. And so I'm going to have him go ahead and call and, you know, hire a butler for the house since he hasn't done that yet. He is back home from work, which is fantastic. We love that he has finished his shift at his job. And so he's back home. We're just going to hire a butler and then we will assign the butler a bed. And then we will, hopefully the butler will clean up around the house. And maybe the butler will even do a little bit of the laundry. I don't know if the butler will, but we will have to see if that will take place. Hopefully um, the butler will do the laundry. And if not, maybe we'll even have to hire ourselves a maid. We'll just have to see how that goes. But we're going to go ahead and assign this bed down here to the butler. And the butler is going to go ahead and make sure he tends to the house, which is fantastic. I am just going to get Lorenzo to work some more on some of his needs here. And I'm going to get Isabella to make a little bit of flour and things for the family. And she will have that for cooking. As you can see, Scarlett has come up and she is just working on a little bit of chess. And I think she has decided that maybe she might want to, you know, work on a little bit of cross stitching in a little bit. Um, but for now, she is... Oh yeah, she has. She's like, I'm going to do a little bit of cross stitching. Okay, great. We love that she's just decided she wants to pick up all these different skills. And thankfully, they're all skills that she does need for entering the marriage market. So I love that she is just, you know, taking it upon herself to pick up all of these skills on her own. Like the logic skill that she's definitely going to need that for uh, the marriage market. And now she has decided to go and do cross stitching all on her own and she's going to need that for the marriage market as well so we absolutely love that i am going to also need her getting some of her etiquette skill and her writing skill up so we will have to obviously work on those skills as well but she is gaining skills left and right that she is going to need to evolve for her to enter the marriage market and so overall she is doing really really well and she is you know really progressing as a sim and I think that right now she's just really feeling inspired. She's feeling like she's doing really well. Um, she's obviously going to need to be heading off to bed soon. It is starting to get a little bit later in the afternoon. We will be getting her to go to bed. We don't want her to stay up really too, too late for the simple fact that she does have school tomorrow. So she is going to be getting herself ready to head off to bed and get herself some rest so that she can go ahead and go to school tomorrow. So she's going to get herself a little bit of rest here. It does look like Isabella has been abducted. I'm going to cancel that out because, I mean, aliens 
I'm not even dealing with that. So I'm just going to have Isabella come back to the house here and I'm going to send Isabella off to bed as well. Everyone is going to go and get themselves some rest and I will see you in the morning. Go on to bed, Isabella. All right, so we are going to go ahead and roll for our Bridgeson um, random selection roll. We have five things to roll from. So if we go ahead and go to our random generator, we are going to do between one and five and we are going to give that a generate and we rolled five. So that is miscellaneous and there's three of those to select from. So if we go one to three and we do a generate from there, we got three. And so from there, we are going to need to make over a sim. So we will have to choose from one of our three sims in our household here to decide which one of them we are going to do a makeover on. I think I will probably do a makeover on Scarlet since she is our main focus here in this family. So we will be giving Scarlet a little bit of a makeover a little bit later. And I am just going to go ahead and let her grab herself a little bit of a bite to eat. And then once she's done making herself a little bit of food here and getting a bite to eat, we'll give her a really quick makeover and then she's going to be getting herself ready for going to school here. So she's just heading herself on down into the kitchen to get herself a bite to eat here. It does look like, or I do believe that there's probably not anything for her to eat. So I do think she is going to actually have to cook a meal. I think um, the food that, yeah, it is. The food that her mom made has gone off because they didn't put it in the fridge. So I'm just going to have her cook a little bit of a serving of a, um, I don't know, let's do this tortilla wrapped dog. Um, and she can make that for herself here. And then once she gets that made, she will be able to have herself a little bit of a bite to eat here. And then once she eats her food, we will hop on into Cass with her and she'll be able to get that little bit of a makeover that we're going to give her. I'm not going to completely change her because I do like her overall look, but I may give her a different style of hair and change a couple of her dresses just to kind of, you know, change her a little bit since we do have to give her a little bit of a makeover based on that random selection roll. So we will change that up just a little bit and then we will continue on. So really it wasn't a bad random selection roll. We didn't get anything really horrible. I can live with it. To be completely honest, some of them are good, some of them are bad, and that one that one wasn't bad at all. So she has just finished up this meal here. I'm just going to let her go ahead and eat this really quickly. She does have to be to school in an hour's time. Okay, so we have arrived back in the game here. We have finished with Scarlett's makeover and I absolutely think that she looks adorable now. I mean, she looked adorable before, but I am really liking her little makeover with her new dresses and everything. She is just getting herself ready to head off to school 
And while she is at school, we are just going to go ahead and obviously have Isabella continue on with her skill building and things like that. I do believe Lorenzo also has to go off to work. As you can see, Scarlett has made pretty good progress with her skills in this portion that we have played. We are still going to need to work with her and build her skills up some more. She is not quite ready for the marriage market, but we are definitely working on that and we will continue to work on that. And we are going to just have to continue working hard with her and get her to a place where she is able to meet all of those skills so that she can enter into the marriage market. I am under the impression personally that I am probably going to have to do one more round of rotations before we are going to be able to enter into the marriage market with each of the families because I was not able to, to get the, any of their skills up to where it really needed to be in this first rotation. So I do think it's going to take one more rotation before any of the families are quite ready for that. So we will just have to see how that goes. But as you can see, Isabella is just making herself a little bit of a bite to eat here. And Scarlett has headed off to school. Lorenzo is going to come down and grab himself a bite to eat. And everyone is just kind of taking care of themselves. But I am going to go ahead and just leave this episode here. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified when new episodes go live on the channel. And I will see you guys in our next episode of our Bridge Simpson Challenge, where we will be continuing on with, I do believe it is our last family, yes it is, our last family of this rotation before we go back over to the royal family and we start the second rotation. So until next time, I'm going to go ahead and fly for now. Bye, Ravens.